Hi, hello, welcome to Spell Day, we're covering a spell every single day of the year from the 5e PHB plus 3. Those plus 3 homebrew spells are at plus 1 at the moment, you can head back in the place and find it. And today's spell is Hunter's Mark. Hold the in. That's a huge thing! No, hold up, hold up! Now I'll sit First level divination, casting time of one bonus action, range of 90 feet, components verbal, duration, concentration, up to one hour. You choose a creature you can see within range and mystically mark it as your quarry. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack, and you have advantage on any wisdom perception or wisdom survival checks you make to find it. The target drops to zero hit points before the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on a subsequent turn of yours to mark a new creature. At higher levels, when you cast the spell using spell slot 3rd level or 4th level, you can maintain your concentration of the spell up to 8 hours. When you use a spell slot 5th level or higher, you can maintain your concentration of the spell up to 20 four hours. Ranger Sex. Another spell which I think a lot of people will be familiar with. It's a bread and butter spell when you're playing a ranger. Namely because you're a martial class and your damage output is tied to some of your weapon output and the other damage resources you have, so having a spell that just automatically adds a d6 or a dice to it pretty good. Upcasting is the same as Hex, where 3 and 4 it goes to 8 hours, then at 5th, goes 24, and then nothing past it. Same range, same action, same component. Well, actually, no, not the same component. This one's just verbal. Same concentration. I mean, it's very similar, but instead of the disadvantage on a specific skill check or a specific score tied to it, you now instead have the fact that you have advantage on certain checks for tracking the creature. Again, Hunter's Mark, it's marked as your quarry. You're the hunter in this situation. Hunter in the sense that it's easier to kill or you know where to strike it, and then hunter in the sense that you know how to track it. So, kind of more angled as a buff for you, where Hex is more angled as a debuff for them. One thing though is its damage type is whatever you're hitting it with. Namely, weapon attack. So depending on the weapon or what qualifies as a weapon? Yeah, so okay, we're just taking simple martial weapons. Yes, you have piercing, slashing, bludgeoning. If you go into the angle that like, some torches are weapons... Like, do, okay, do improvised weapons count? Does knocking someone with a torch then deal an extra d6 fire damage? Can you have a tavern brawler with <laughs> with Hunter's Mark? I, because come on. Improvised weapons? Still a weapon. I bring that up so if you know how to work it, you can find certain vulnerabilities. Like, let's say you're hitting a skeleton with a bludgeoning weapon. Instead of just adding an extra d6 necrotic, you're actually doing more damage by having the bludgeoning brought up by another d6. I have mixed feelings on vulnerabilities and how they're implemented, and same thing with resistances, we're not going to get into that. I guess a benefit over a hex in this sense is that the additional feature might actually come in more handy. Like let's say an enemy's running away, or you- I mean this is great for an actual hunting scenario. Being able to instantly track prey that you hit with the spell, you don't even have to hit it. Because normally in hunting, you hit a deer or a mark and you're tracking the blood where it's stampling through, it can be a bit difficult and it can get away. Having advantage on all of that? Pretty nice, and in more an advantage to you, so it doesn't feel as bad as like just holding a minor debuff on someone else. Six out of ten. It's all right, pretty decent. Gets the job done a bit more than what hex is, because it's an actual buff towards you. Yes, a little specific, but I mean, it's still a little more general than what the hex debuff was.